The new CMD Build 3 version represents the most important step of the CMD Build project since its first release 12 years ago. The user interface has been completely rewritten. The server part has been completely renovated and extended with many new features. The new user interface has a minimal, clean and light graphics in line with web design trends and with very fast response times. The colors have been studied to make the interface usable and pleasant. In CMD Build 3, it is easier to edit a data card. In each field, it is possible to have a help text and to define validation checks. From each field, it is possible to set the value of other fields or to hide them accordingly to the data entered. The fields of the card are placed in two columns and divided into field sets. All this can be configured in the administration module. CMD Build 3 provides new mechanisms to define personalized behaviors for the different typologies of data managed. It is possible to define trigger forms, like JavaScript scripts, to be executed before or after editing the card, to display data at the opening, or to perform custom operations on the CMDP at the confirmation. It is also possible to configure contextual menus to perform useful functions at the moment even with a specific GUI graphical user interface. You can also implement custom widgets, GUIs with custom behaviors and place them in the data management forms. It is then possible to create and set completely customized pages using the mechanism of the EXTJS framework and the components made available by CMD Build. A way to facilitate the work of the operators is to set their own preferences in the use of the system. CMD Build 3 has a dedicated section where each user can choose his own preferences for the language, the date and the number formatting, the initial startup page. It is also possible for each data display grid to select the columns to show their width and their data sorting. If not specified, CMD Build uses the default settings chosen by the system administrator. CMD Build 3 natively supports 
the multi-tenant configuration. The same instance can therefore be used simultaneously by different organizations as tenants. For example, several companies belonging to the same group, multiple offices of the same company, groups of people who follow different clients, etc. The configuration can be obtained associating the tenant with a CMD build class or with a database function in the case of more sophisticated visibility rules. A user belonging to a tenant can see and operate only on the data of that tenant and each new card will belong to that tenant. It is also possible that a user belongs to more tenants and in that case he can decide whether to choose the tenant at the login, after the login or to work with several tenants at the same time. In this case, he will have to manually set the tenant for the new data cards insert. The most important innovation concerning the workflows is the replacement of a progress engine, which by default will no longer be an Hydra Shark, but a new engine made in Technoteca, which we give the name River. Faster and on which we have complete control. In the user interface, there are two new features. In the upper bar, it has highlighted the current status of the process. Immediately below it is possible to choose from the list of permitted actions the method of progressing the process. In the administration module there are available graphical representations that facilitate control and monitoring activities. It is possible to immediately view the active CMD build components with their current status. There is a button for their reboot, the server where they run, and the available resources. It is also possible to view the list of connected users and to disconnect them if necessary it is then possible to access the system logs. Many other new features are currently under development and will be made available in releases immediately following the 3.0 version. Won't be long before the release of CMD Build 3.0 we invite you to download it and we wish you a good job with the new CMD Build 3.